What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lamont Tyson, host of the Life Games channel. Looking sexy as hell in my Superman shirt. Even though Captain America Civil War is coming out tomorrow, it's never a bad time to wear a Superman shirt. You always feel a little bit more super. And this video is about maintaining and figuring out super macronutrients for someone who's just starting and want to lose weight, maybe have hit the wall in their weight loss journey, or never really found out the data they needed as far as macronutrients is concerned to help them reach their goals. And this particular video, we're talking about the goal of weight loss and maintaining that good muscle. A lot of people, when they start their weight loss goals, um, they want to keep it as simple as possible. And this video will keep this very, very simple. But guys, you got to understand, um, weight loss, knowing what foods respond to your body, is an ongoing story. You can start one place doing something that works and you hit a plateau and you've got to adapt. So this video is really about a starting point for those getting off the couch or a starting point for those that never really figured out a way to do their macronutrient partitioning properly. And so having said that guys, it's important that you understand um, for every gram of protein, it equals four calories. For every gram of a carb equals four calories. And for every gram of fat equals nine calories. And that's all important because you've got to figure out the right partitioning for you to help reach your goals. And a good starting point for those goals would be, for example, someone who maybe weighs, I'm going to say 200 pounds. You want a simple formula to know what to calculate for your maintenance calories just multiply your weight by 10. So someone who weighs 200 pounds, their maintenance calories more than likely is going to be somewhere close to or around 2,000 calories a day at rest. This is not a giving a calculation of um, your activity level. This is just baseline. And so if we use that simple formula of your body weight equals um, 200 pounds multiplied by 10 and your at rest minimum calories is 2,000, you want to start out somewhere where you're getting maybe 40% of that, those calories come from protein, 40% comes from carbs, and maybe about 20% from fat. Um, you, can, you can kind of titrate that formula however you want to, but that is just a very, very solid starting point. And so if you break down that partitioning, you will be looking at um, about 200 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 44 grams of fat, and that will equal 2,000 calories. And you run with that for about, you know, say a week, two weeks, three weeks, and see how your body responds. Always checking your weight and see how your weight goes while you're on that particular ratio of macronutrients. That is an excellent starting point. Um, while you're using that same ratio, get to know how you feel with those with those macronutrients are you feeling like you have energy um is it causing you to struggle with your training from your lifts to your cardio and anything you do for activity to help you reach your goals it's just a good starting point and this could be the baseline for you tracking what you need to be doing to reach that point that you're trying to reach which is ultimately a life game so guys that is a simple formula to help you kind of put yourself in better position to understand the data on your own body on how to calculate your macronutrients so that you can look as sexy as hell like me. Um, summer is coming. I know a lot of you guys are trying to get out there and be on that beach wearing your two-piece, your one-piece, your no-pieces, whatever pieces you want to wear. And um, understand what's going into your body so that you can fine-tune and really, really accelerate your opportunity to reach your goals. Guys, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life game, figure out what is the right macronutrient partitioning to help yourself ultimately get the gauge you want, and I'll catch you on the next video.